these kids because they, they learned some important lessons about sticking together and fighting. Hey, you know, Mike's, Mike's kind of a, an individual version of what we've been able to do as a team. You know, certainly under fire and you know, everybody calling for his replacement. I'm sure that's not easy for anybody, especially when you're in your home state. You know, your family has to go through it every day and you have to go through it. And I'm really proud of him the way he stuck to it. You know, sometimes, I'll be honest with you, sometimes you worry, right? Because you get an easy score. And I say easy score, a quick score. And, you know, you didn't do anything yet. The ball popped on the ground, you scooped it up and you ran it in. And if you're not careful, if your team's not prepared the right way, you're not in the right mental state, you can let your guard down. They didn't. I didn't think our team did that. Uh, we certainly didn't play perfect. We had, uh, we had errors, you know, fumbling the football. That just can't happen. And that, that, that was the, if you say there's one thing you're, really disappointed about it's that we fumbled the football. We can't do that. But overall, the thing that I, I was pleased most with was the way that these guys just focused on the moment after moment after moment. They didn't get ahead of themselves. They didn't. It was, uh, it's what we've been preaching and what we've been talking about. I think we're getting better at it. Because bowl eligible and going to a bowl are two different things. Because without the wins, it doesn't matter. I'm most happy for these kids and for this university because um, it's something neat when you have a winning college football team at your school. You know, not only for the football players, but I'm talking about for you know, 26,000 or 27,000 undergraduate students, all the alums, that's, that's good stuff, and it's good for the state.